Hi, it's, I'm Michael Boyle. I'm at Mike Boyle Strength and Conditioning in Boston, Massachusetts. I just want to take a couple seconds and kind of familiarize you with how we use the MVP shuttle and who we use the MVP shuttle with. For us, it's one of the most important tools that we have in our facility because it allows us to serve three really important groups. It allows us to serve our personal training clients, it allows us to serve our injured athletes, and it allows us to serve either our overweight or our larger, say our NFL lineman type of client. With the personal training client, one of the things that we know from the research is that the personal training client is losing power. A lot of times they're maintaining their strength level but they're losing their power and when they're losing power we're in a situation where we're getting the inability to produce rapid contractions. When we've got the MVP shuttle with the personal training client, we can take loads that are going to be less than their body weight and we can now do explosive type training in a really super safe environment. Same situation when we've got an injured client. If we've got somebody who's coming back really from any type of lower body in injury and we want to start to introduce them to some velocity specific work, we can start our hopping or our jumping protocols on the shuttle and again dealing with loads that are going to be less than body weight. The third group, as we said, whether it's overweight clients, which could also be your adult personal training client, but more often than not, we're talking about larger football lineman type bodies who would not do as well with the eccentric forces that they produce. When they jump, their jumping is going to be fine, landing is going to be an issue for them. The MVP shuttle allows us to take that type of client too and also train them at speed and at velocity, which is something that we would have difficulty doing without putting them at kind of an increased risk of injury. The cool thing about the shuttle here is that we've just got a band system. So, you know, all we need to do is pull out a band, hook it in place, pull out a band, hook it in place. Now we've been able to set our resistance. Uh, we've obviously got a resistance that varies from a half band to a full band and then able to go right through. You, you could actually get to the point where you're using it as a leg press. That's probably not one of the big features for us. For us, the big feature is the, the explosive elastic nature of the piece. But if we've got a personal training client, we're going to be able to do sort of a, you know, a, a, just a double leg jumping type of protocol. In that situation, with a personal training client, now we can safely add power development into their program. In the same way for an injured athlete, if we had somebody, let's just as, use an ACL as a for instance, and we want to begin hopping, meaning we want to be taking off and landing on the same segment, we can use the exact same type of situation where we can now put them back in position and simply do a single leg hop, which is really a redundancy. So here, stick, and the idea here for the injured athlete is that we can use single leg loads with less than the resistance of their body weight with the MVP shuttle, which is something that we can't do in any other situation in our weight room. In the same way, if we've got a 300 pound NFL lineman who, again, poor eccentric strength doesn't do well in hopping type protocols, we can use that same type of protocol to get our single leg plyometric work for that type of athlete. So when we're looking at this, we can use it to train right across the spectrum of us from an adult fitness client through an injured reconditioning rehabilitation type of client and then right up into performance work for our largest, heaviest types of clients.